Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about sound amplifiers for the Raspberry Pi. But it could be used for other single board computers and computers as well. And all you really need is a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So this is a a sound amplifier with a potentiometer right there for controlling the volume so if you turn the knob left to right that would uh, increase or decrease the volume basically and that's basically an analog function basically a potentiometer uses analog functions because you can't do that with digital so um, basically this board allows you to uh, control it's kind of like a sound amplifier so what you would do is you just get some speakers like for example these speakers I think these are 5 watt speakers um, and the application for this is if you want to use your Raspberry Pi as an arcade machine with a cabinet then you need this you need sound right but you're not going to be using uh, s stereo speakers from a uh, like a computer type of stereo speakers right so you're going to be using a speaker like this this is what this would be like an arcade speaker it could be anywhere from 5 watts to maybe 20 watts depends on how much bass you want and you would just put this um, in the front of the arcade cabinet so basically um, you would have left and right speakers basically and you need um, wires basically and you may need some broader core solder solder and a solder gun to solder it solder the wires onto the speakers basically but then here's the positive, here's the negative, here's the positive, here's the negative for the speaker. And you just get the wire, you solder this on with the rotter core solder. And then you just connect on the other end of the wire into this board right here. So let's say this is a left speaker. So this is positive, it goes here. And this is, uh, it goes right there where it says left positive you just screw it in with a Phillips screwdriver with a wire in it and then this is um, negative for the left speaker this wire you just connect it to so that's positive it goes here so negative it goes it goes right there for the left speaker and then for the right speaker, you do the same thing. You just solder this on to the positive side, solder this on with a rotter core solder on the um, negative side. And then you just uh, take the other end of the wire for the negative, for the right speaker, this light blue line, and you just screw it in there. Put the wire in there and screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. For the positive, same thing. It's just solder that on the other end with this orange line it goes right here to the right positive screw it on and that's it that's how you get the speakers on and it also has a DC power socket right here so let's say I'm using a 5 volt I mean 5 watt speakers so to be on the safe, you can pick any adapter you want, any DC adapter. Um, you could pick a, you could pick not, you could pick 10 volt, anywhere from 5 to 27 volts, but 12 volt, 2 amp DC adapter is pretty good, I guess. That would cover, um, that could amplify up to 48 watts, so, um, Watt is basically uh, calculated like this, 12, it's voltage times amperage or current 
so that would be watts so 12 volts times 2 amp is equal to 48 watts so that's how it works so you could pick um, a um, power supply which is maybe 12 volt 3 amps then you would get so this is this is um, 24 watts so if you get 12 volt by 3 amps that would be 36 watts and depending on how much uh, how how uh, much output your speakers are or how much power they use you would have to get the right uh, power adapter for it. So, so this power adapter would be enough for powering up these two speakers, which is five watts each. So it'd be ten watts. So, um, so this is the specs of this board. I'll leave it in the video descriptions. So, um, so for my Raspberry Pi, I would connect this end of the st of the stereo 3.5 inch stereo uh, jack wire here, which goes into the Raspberry Pi, and the other end would go right into this um, this board right here, this amplification board, sound amplification board. So it goes right here, and um, that's basically it. So um, it's connected to the speaker, so I can uh, adjust the volume with the potentiometer, and um, I could put it into my arcade cabinet, basically, and that's all you have to do for that. And there's another type of uh, potentiometer uh, sound amplifier, which I will show you. And this is a sound amplifier. This is also a sound sound amplifier for a Raspberry Pi. However, this goes right into the Raspberry Pi um, GPIO pins. You just put this on the top and you just uh, slide it in to the Raspberry Pi as a GPIO pin right here. You just, you just put it on top and slide it in. It's as simple as that. And uh, it, this also has a potentiometer. If you adjust the knob left or right, it would increase the volume or decrease it. And um, this one has a uh, right and left um, jack, audio jack, and it also has a stereo jack right there. And this is for the power supply. You can put in a um, six volt to twenty six volt. I guess that's AC like the power supply that you saw here It'd be like the same type of power supply so you could put a 12 volt 2 amp DC adapter in there that's direct current and um, basically here's the wires here's a pin layout for the for this part this is where you will be connecting your speakers so um, you would take that wire for let's say the right speaker negative and then you would just screw it in <coughs> excuse me you just screw it in, in the appropriate place so the pinouts are on the bottom so you can see it so here So this at the end would be correlating to this part. So this would be um, left speaker negative. This is left speaker positive. It would correspond to here. This is a uh, right speaker negative here, and right speaker positive there. That's all you would have to hook up. And basically, from your Raspberry Pi, you take this. Stereo um, 3.5 inch millimeter um, stereo jack, and then you would connect it here. Basically, that's it. Depending on the speakers that you use, if you use, um, let's say, if you want to use 20 watt speakers, 
then you would have to get the right power supply in, in relation to in relation to the speakers that you're using so let's say I'm using 20 watt speakers Let's see how much that is. Let's see what the adequate power supply would be. So if I get 24 watt, um, no, yeah, if I get a 24 watt power supply at two amps, then 48 watts that should be able to cover it. So I would get. Uh, I would get a 12, 24 volt uh, power supply at 2 amps basically so you have to get the right um, power adapter in relation to the speakers that you want to use to amplify basically so that's basically it there's two types and you could I'll leave the links for this as well so you can buy it Excuse me. So you could buy um, this board, this hat for the Raspberry Pi, on um, this website called Banggood. They sell a lot of electronic components for Raspberry Pis and other stuff. And this is where you could buy for the lowest price for this thing. Other sites charge maybe anywhere from a hundred to hundred and fifty fifty dollars for this but this is directly from the source I think this is from Shenzhen China or something so they're buying exact they're getting these exact uh, from the source so this is you're gonna get the better price for, for stuff like this for electronic components like this but I can't say the same for like Raspberry Pis you're not gonna get the best price for that because uh, these aren't made in China, so you're probably going to get a much better deal if you buy this on Amazon or Adafruit or something like that. But for for like components like this, you'll be able to get really good prices. Okay, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. My Ace 1000KS 19.